Salutations here. It's me, video making sensation Wimble did Wimble D Dimble. For years, I've been lauded for my specialty in making comedic mouth sounds with my face, but you seem to have caught me in the middle of doing what I do when I'm not doing the things that you know that I do. But why? Well, some people just aren't content with the Wimble they're given. They want to know all Wimble's secrets. They want to invade all my privates. They want to become. And that's exactly what I'm here to off you. To off you? You want to know how to make a video, so I'm here to kill you. I'm going to kill you. You're going to die by my hand now. You're poof, game over. You're fucking dead. We don't accept people who want to educate themselves. You, you got to die. die. The first thing we're going to start with is scripting. This phase often takes the longest of them all, but that's because we got to rely on our imagination and, and shit. You remember all those really good ideas you had when you were busy with other stuff? Because if you do, then go fuck yourself. Why is your memory so good? I fucking forgot all of mine. Memory. But hey, you know, it's all good. No need to rush. We can take our time. Relax. Just take it slow. God damn it! I fucked it up! It's all wrong! Like a, like a skrillic song, song that, that never drops, drops. she'll never, never talk. talk. It's a goddamn mess. It's unsalvageable. It's fine, okay? This, this is actually a really good learning experience. If you make a mistake, it's never too late to correct it. So let's just... Oh. Oh my god. This is it! My magnum opus! Once that's done, we can move on to the next phase. So, like, if you're a more savvy content creator, then you might think script editing is the next phase. Usually that process would involve getting someone smarter than me to point out all my mistakes, but then I have to show someone the thing I wrote. Ew. Hell no. I'll just go ahead and make a fool out of myself. Thank you very much. Anyway, now we gotta record ourselves. This phase normally takes the longest because my voice never does what I- My voice never does what I want. My voice never does what I fucking want it to do. Now, having ideas is totally free, but getting an audio recording of your voice to cringe at is not. Thankfully, there's some free recording software out there, but you're still gonna need a mic. Now all the professionals out there will tell you, you gotta get an XLR mic, a funny little box, a soundproof room. But if being poor isn't one of the reasons you hate yourself, then you could just get a USB microphone and record under a comforter. Just remember, if you go that route, that you and the mic need to be under the blanket. In case you're the type of person that needs to be told that. Sorry, I, I know a guy. For the sake of ease, I'll demonstrate my recording using the professional way. Salutations here. You're watching Wimble D Dimble Productions. Oftentimes, it's good to have multiple takes of each line, though, so I'll do another. Salutations here. You're watching. Oh my fucking god. Why does this keep fucking happening to me? What the fuck is this? Stop. Fucking stop. And just like that, bing, bang, boom, I will never recover from this humiliation, which means it's time to move on to... <laughs> Now that we've recorded each line with multiple takes, it's time to select our favorite takes, edit out the rest, and remove any unnecessary pauses or whatever. This phase normally takes the longest because it's boring. Let's hear how our recording sounds. Salutations here. You're watching Wimble D Dimble hey nurse, Productions. Hand me those forceps. I need to fix his ribs. Ah, see, this sort of thing happens a lot. You take every precaution in the world, but the mic still picks up the sound of my operation. I seem to have perforated his brain. But see, this is why we did multiple takes. Let's hear how the others turned out. Salutations here. You're watching Wimble D Dimble Productions. 
Well, that sounds bad. Now, where did I put that defibrillator again? I hope I make it out okay. Anyway, it does look like our other takes got messed up as well, but I do have a backup plan. If we normalize the audio and then treble boost and then normalize the audio and then bass boost and then normalize the audio and then set a minus six limiter and then, uh, you know, you say all and then set a minus four limiter and then get a five second noise profile and then do noise reduction, then our recordings should come out crystal clear. Check it. After moving into a small town and I got a job as a pizza. The perfect take. Now you guys just need to repeat that process until we finally get to... Now that the boring part is done, you finally get to put everything together. This phase normally takes the longest, but for real this time. <laughs> First, you gotta procure a video editing program. Spend a couple years figuring out how to do that and then come back to this video. If you haven't edited a video before, then odds are whatever workspace you're looking at could be kind of confusing. I'll show you guys my Premiere workspace and then maybe you can, you can, you can, you can, you can brain. This is the project display. It's like a TV, but for the stuff that you do. You're petting my dog. Thank you. The project window shows you all the media clips you've imported. You can import clips manually using the file tab, or you can drag and drop files into it directly for a faster and easier way to crash my editing software instantly. The timeline is where you place clips to create your video. Images, video clips, Pizza audio, time. place them all here, and the timeline will tell you how, how long, long your, your video, video has, has left, left to live. live. That's right. I'm able to see your name and lifespan right now. You think you're better than me, but The effects window is where you can use all the audio and video effects you want to use and really just destroy your video however you want. Finally, there's the effect controls that pop up whenever you select a clip. This is what I use whenever I need to convey motion of some sort in my videos. But to do this, you first need to understand keyframing. For example, let's say I wanted to move this square to the other side of the screen in about five seconds. Now, in this part, you maybe thought I was going to have the square move across the screen, like I said, but I was actually going to move myself upward so that my head, like, hits the square like this. You see, like, I was going to move myself like that, and I was going to be all like, oh, God, I have had trauma now. Oh, the pain is unbearable. You know, it was going to be like a silly slapstick thing. In comedy, we, we call this subversion of expectation. <laughs> So from here, I'm just gonna assume you know how to do the extra stuff, like putting whatever you feel like on a 1280 by 720 image, hitting export and then waiting an eternity, going onto YouTube, hitting upload and then waiting an eternity. Congrats, you're done. Or so you may think. Being a video maker isn't just about making videos. It's about how people respond to your videos and how you respond to how people respond to your videos. Is this the Krusty Krab? Oh, this is Patrick. For an example, let's look at the most popular video on my channel, the top 10 edible items in video games. Hey diddly ho there, neighborino, it's Wimbledy Dimble, your god. Number 10 is the shaped glass from Risk of Rain 2. Don't believe me? Watch this. <laughs> It goes on like this for half an hour, a classic video to be sure, but one that, mmm, definitely got me into some mm, hot water, let's say. Here's a video from mm, the most well-known Wimble critic on YouTube. Man, things sure have been dreary since I've made that commentary on Proficient PD's commentary on Clay Dirt's commentary on Wea Blue's commentary on Kill Eater's video on how yellow cows should be cheesed instead of milked. Oh yeah, that was a time from what I heard. If only a prolific countdown maker had made a bad video for me to cover. Hi, how are you? It's you. Who the fuck is this? The god of all criticism? I thought I killed you. I thought I banished you to the deep, dark depths of reviewer pandemonium. But here you are again. To Engage in a lifelong war against me. I think he's just giving context right now. We'll skip ahead like 20 minutes. The Lord and I have achieved peace and unity in the form of an arranged marriage with three beautiful children. Here is my proof. Hello, Dad. I'm a beautiful child. Thank you for birthing me. Which brings me to your video, Wimble. 
In the 10th entry, you list the shaped glass from Risk of Rain 2 as the 10th most edible video game item, and you demonstrate this by eating the glass yourself, causing you to gag for about 32 minutes before meeting your unfortunate end. Classic Wimble. Well, I give my condolences to your family and friends who were deeply affected by your death. What I really want to know is, did you die from the glass? or from shooting yourself in the foot. Mommy? For you see, if the glass is so inedible that consuming it resulted in your death, then it must not have actually been very edible at all. Fuck. Furthermore, because you died at the tail end of your number 10 entry, you have left your audience in the dark about what numbers 9 through 1 are, leaving your list incomplete. I made a mistake. I don't I don't know what to- At least when I said my children were amazing, I had evidence. I, I can't do this anymore. And then he said, at least I had evidence. And how did that make you feel, little baby? You know, thanks, Doc. This really helped. And that's everything. Now you have all the tools you need to get out there and become the reproductive video maker you were always destined to be. I've got the utmost faith in you, but I don't need faith because I can already see everything you do. Uh. Oh, no. When I am in the place, I eat the children. When I'm not in the place, I don't eat the children. What else do I eat? That's a very good question.